Hello and welcome gorgeous Taurus to your mid-month reading. I hope everyone is doing really well. Let's take a look at your cards and the messages that Spirit would like to bring through for you. Be sure to connect in with your own intuition throughout the reading. This is how Spirit speaks directly to you. You might see a sign, a symbol, a message on one or several of the cards. And if you do take this as a sign, because that's what it is, there is a message there from Spirit direct to your situation. Be fluid. Okay, so it's number one. Um, there is going to be a need over the next week or two or up until the end of the month where you're going to need to be a bit flexible and be a bit fluid with things. Um, not be, not be, to not be stagnant in your mindset or in what you're doing. You might in fact get a lot of benefit from starting something new or doing something a little bit outside your usual routine. Um, it might open you up to new possibilities here. There seems to be um, an energy here of prosperity that I'm picking up. And I feel to allow this prosperity to happen, a major change needs to happen or is happening. And Spirit's saying to me, allow it to be because it is meant to be. There may also be a water sign in your life that's important as well. There's going to be some kind of offer. There's an invitation, an offer, an opportunity that is coming your way. And the Spirit's asking you to open up your arms here to receive this offer, this gift. It's a great blessing on your life, Taurus. It really is. And it's to do with this major change that's coming. There's going to be an offer, a gift of some kind, an awareness, an opening that goes along with this major change. Beautiful. Okay, let's take a look at this deck. Guidance for Taurus, please, Spirit. Angels and guides, bring through a message for Taurus, please. Okay, there's one there. Okay, so we have the well, which is about family. Family wishes come true. So if you have had a desire, a wish, a dream, a vision for your family or for a family, um, it looks like it's going to be coming true. There's an, a, a fulfillment of a wish and it might be connected to family or so, uh, close connections that you have with people or with someone. The finger symbol warning you of a problem either now or in the near future. So there might be um, a problem. Um, it might be linked in with family, perhaps. This may have already happened and you might know exactly what Spirit's talking about here. Someone may be upset. Someone may be pointing the finger. Um, but I do feel with the well card next to it that there's going to be some kind of positive outcome for you, though, which will come true in um, in this regard in some way. Um, okay, so we have the kite vacation. So there might be a need for getting away, holiday, vacation, um, fun time, playful times, kind of taking yourself out of a serious situation. That's really what I'm sensing over the next week or two. Um, or kind of balancing it, if you can, balancing a serious energy with more of a lighthearted energy. The rainbow, the most difficult part of a situation is over. So this is a wonderful sign, of course, if you have had tumultuous energy recently, know that the most difficult part of the situation is over. And the barrel, you feel something is lacking in your life, perhaps love, money or goals. So there might be a feeling of lack in some way or of, there might be a disappointment recently. But know that there is, that, that's a mindset. Spirit is working for your good right now, Spirit saying to me. So 
um, there's going to be an improvement with this change that's coming. Okay, let's take a look at this deck now. Guidance for Taurus, please. Vulnerability. This is confirmation that you're seeking to tread into the unknown, unfamiliar territory where decisions are based more on intuition than rationality. Don't let fear hold you back or allow a misguided sense of feeling vulnerable to somehow, um, somehow is somehow negative in this condition so, or in this situation. So don't let fear hold you back. And don't let it misguide you or allow a misguided sense of feeling vulnerable is yeah, somehow ne in negative condition. So being a little bit vulnerable in a, cert a certain situation over the next week or two seems to be an, an okay thing to do. Um, you might be treading into the unknown in some way, whether it's you being vulnerable or in another way, unfamiliar territory and the spirit's with you the whole time here. Don't let fear hold you back. Whatever this resonates with in your life. Hmm. And it's the card of the caregiver. We are with you and spirit has its own way of recognizing the care and love you provide to others, especially at the end of their lives, just as you receive care and love at the start of your life. Caregivers often focus all their attention on their loved ones and often neglect their own concerns and well-being in the process. So if you are a caregiver, don't ne uh, neglect your own needs. Don't neglect your own heart, your own needs, your own concerns. That's the message here. Guidance for Taurus, please, spirit, angels and guides. Please bring through a message for Taurus. Surrender to passion. Get out of your head and feel the fire in your belly. Focus on the people or activities that ignite your passion and let it flow. So yeah, nice. This is a nice energy. Um, you're going to feel more passionate, more invigorated in so many different ways. I feel physically, yes, um, but also, of course, in a, a desire or a passion for someone or something. Hmm. Okay, surrender fear. So you have this message again of surrendering fear. Let go of the fearful stories you are telling yourself. Stay in the moment. Focus on solutions and celebrate every baby step forward. So yeah, really important over the next week or two or till the end of the month. There's a need to surrender any fear that you feel. Give it over to spirit. Know that it's not you. Know that it's just ego trying to hold you back. Guidance for Taurus, please, spirit, angels and guides, bring through a message for Taurus. The two of winter. Procrastination and worrying what others will think is blocking you from making a decision. If you're torn between your own desires and someone else's, follow your inner guidance. So yeah, if you have someone that's in competition with you or fighting with you or they're saying that their decisions are more valid or their concerns are more valid than yours. This is not true. Follow your own inner guidance in this regard. The star is Aquarius's card, so you may have an Aquarius in your life, perhaps. You are about to take a big leap forward with your life. Worry will be replaced with optimism, fear with hope. And joy is coming home to roost. Beautiful. So... I love this. Worry will be replaced with optimism and fear with hope. So it looks like you're going to have that successful energy of surrendering the fear. The four of winter. Thoroughly think things through before making a decision. Continuing to overanalyze isn't going to get you any closer to a resolution. But meditation and prayer will bring you the answers you seek. So quiet in the mind. Know that meditation and prayer will bring you the answers that you need. And think things through before you make a decision. The Seven of Winter. Caution will help you avoid the loss of valuables, including non-material resources, such as time or peace of mind. So just be cautious with things. 
cautious because you may have, you may be unwittingly losing something in the process if you are, um, if you're not going to, if, if you're not cautious, okay? Uh, be aware of the results of your actions as well as what others might be doing behind your back. So there might be something going on behind your back, but something to be cautious of. Um, there might be, yeah, I, I do feel there might be some a loss if you're not careful of you, the calmness and serenity and peace that you hold in your heart if you're not careful or in your mind. The dreamer is the fool. You are starting a new adventure. Run free and take a leap of faith. Starting new is with um, an amazing thing. I feel this ties back into the major change that's coming. It is meant to be. It's coming through with the full energy of just um, kind of going for it. Um, starting a new adventure. Take a leap of faith. Doing something you haven't done before. And there's an awakening here as well that might be happening, an awakening that toward maybe something that's going on behind your back. It might be an awakening or a revelation that happens when you meditate or when you calm your mind. Also an awakening to what you kind of where you want to go. Where do you want to leap forward ahead toward? You know, what do you want to what do you want to do here? And recognizing that and taking that step forward. Look at things in a different way and all will make sense. Don't worry if your progress is halted temporarily, things will soon start moving again. So if things are halted, if things aren't, you know, they don't seem to be moving forward, just take a step back and know that it's not going to be forever. Let's take a look at the pendulum now. If you have a question you'd like to ask Spirit through the pendulum, you're quite welcome to think of that question now. And the answer is maybe. So this means that it's not set in stone and that your actions and choices can change the outcome. And if someone else is involved in this question as well, then their actions and choices can change the outcome. So I hope Spirit has come through clearly for you with this read. It's been wonderful to read for you today. Take care, stay blessed, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.